It's timeless. Unreal. It's new. Nostalgic. The source material is iconic. It's poetic. I've seen it probably more than 40 times and every time it just gets me again. It's awesome. Fun. It's moving. It's story. It's honest. It's Simon and Garfunkel. I had a clear dynamic response and approach was just to keep it fresh and organic and quite simple. Simon and Garfunkel's songs are mostly lyric driven. It's stories. My dad used to love the albums, so it has a, a sort of a, a personal connection. I'm Justin Swart, Josh Ansley, Sunley, Daniel Keith Geddes, Ash, and I play cello, violin, piano, and sing guitar, the bass guitar, and the ukulele. Percussion. I play guitar and sing piano, guitar, various percussion instruments, and the penny whistle. Percussion. And I play the cello. It's quite nice as a producer to be part of the show, just to be back to the roots and to see what it feels like. What I was aiming for was to give listeners and give an audience the sound of Simon and Garfunkel and Paul Simon as they know it, but also to just add a little, a little edge and a little twist that is my signature on, on some of the arrangements. My favorite song is Homeward Bound. Still crazy. Dangling conversation. Is I do it for your love. I think Kodachrome. Still crazy after all these years. Bridge over troubled water. Cover affair. Kathy's song. Hazy shade of winter. When you do start working on a project like that and you have to sort of unpack it, you start to understand how nuanced and layered it can be. And the genius behind Simon Garfunkel, actually. There's a joy in listening to a recording like this one, which just has all the has all the players, all the musicians, all the vocalists in the same room at the same time, performing as if they are doing it on stage. And there's a live element to it.